You want to know what is the person's purpose? Can I trust that person? Notice Gabriel says that he works for God. God's angel has a message for you. When is the last time an angel spoke to you? The angel goes on to say, since you don't want to take me serious, I am going to show you I mean business. Mouth closed. KMS, keep mouth shut. Has God ever shut your mouth from you digging yourself into more trouble? I can speak for myself. I know that back in the day, if you crossed me on the wrong day, you might get it how it comes out. I remember a pastor said, we can relate, especially if you've had a bad hair day before, or especially if you know how you can get when you don't want to be bothered, or you want things to go your way. Another pastor said, that we cannot have a bad day as a saint. I understand now every day above ground is a great day. This is a day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Have you ever had people test or try your patience? Come on, how many real folks are out there? I remember around 2009 and I was, I was visiting one of the church mothers in the hospital. I used to take her to church because I was living by her at the time. One of the nurses was giving me the runaround. Maybe, perhaps, because I was young and the mother was old enough to be my great-grandmother and she was like, well, what does he have to do with her? I was boiling over inside. The Holy Spirit kept me from letting the nurse have it. And I remember when I finally got a chance to speak with the mother. I was going there to encourage her, but in return she, re she encouraged me. and She was more uplifted than me. I was like, wow. But I can remember as I was leaving and going to my vehicle, I came across a church member who was rolling a gentleman who was in a straight jacket and had just been taken out of a police car. And I thought to myself, that could have been me if I would have lost it. And this reminds me to let and remind us to let no one or anything cause us to miss our blessing. Don't let anything or anyone cause us to lose our blessing or miss our best blessing. What we say and do can get us in a lot of trouble. I heard it put this way, was it worth the trouble you are already in? The tongue, the tongue. Here's what James says in James the third chapter 1 through 12. My friends, we should not all try to become teachers. In fact, teachers will be judged more strictly than others. All of us do many wrong things, but if you can control your tongue, you are mature and able to control your whole body. By putting a bit into a mouse, into the mouth of a horse. We can turn the horse in different directions. It takes strong winds to move a large sailing ship, but the captain uses only a small rudder to make it go in any direction. Our tongues are small too, and yet they brag about big things. It takes only a spark to start a forest fire. Verse 6. The tongue is like a spark. It is an evil power that dirties the rest of the body and sets a person's entire life on fire with flames 
that come from hell itself. Let me read that again. Verse 6. The tongue is like a spark. It is an evil power that dirties the rest of the body and sets a person's entire life on fire with flames that come from hell itself. All kinds of animals, birds, reptiles, and sea creatures can be tamed and have been tamed. But our tongues get out of control. They are reckless and evil and always spreading deadly poison. My dear friends, with our tongues we speak both praises and curses. We praise our Lord and Father and we curse people who were created to be like God. And this isn't right. Can clean water and dirty water both flow from the same spring? Can a fig tree produce olives or a grapevine produce figs? Does fresh water come from a well full of salt water? The epistle of James lets us know how much the tongue can get us in trouble. I thank the Lord for the messages that he has given me, especially let people do what they do best and the people's choice. I don't know about you, but these messages have been encouraging me to stay on the straight and narrow and to keep contending my faith in Jesus Christ. Verse number 21. The crowd was waiting for Zechariah and kept wondering why he was staying in the temple so long. It's those long, unexpected waits for me. Have you ever been in the waiting room and you're looking on the board? These days they have electronics, boards where you can see and you're looking up there and it lets you know how far along the surgery or procedure or has it or when it starts or when the person is in the recovery room sometimes the longer the wait the more it may seem that something strange is going on he could not when he came out he could not speak and they knew he had seen a vision have you ever seen anyone come out of the hospital and they looked different? And going back to what I said before about we can't have a bad day as a saint because not just a saint, but we could be an ain't and we can't have a bad day because People, they will take their cell phones and they will, they will record us. And before we know it, we'll be on the news. The worldly news. Could you just imagine how the people looked at Zacharias? You know, like, mm -hmm, something's going on up there. Would someone even mace him or say, uh, oh, get away from me. You look like you've been eating some cuckoo pu cocoa puffs. You know how people talk. Child, I saw him. Would you ask, would you have asked Zechariah, what are you on? He motioned to them with his hands, but did not say a thing. When Zechariah's time of service in the temple was over, he went home. Soon after this, his wife was expecting a baby. And for five months, she did not leave the house. 
she said to herself, What the Lord has done for me will keep people from looking down on me. I repeat the last verse. What the Lord has done for me will keep people from looking down on me. Have you ever felt like people look down on you? As a result, what did you do? Has God ever shown up in your life that left you dumbfounded and other people scratching their heads? God knows how to get a blessing to us. God sent the right angel, Gabriel, that knew what to do when Zacharias got out of line. Gabriel put Zacharias' mouth out of commission until Zachariah had the right attitude. What is it going to take for us to believe God is speaking to us? The objective, KMS, keep mouth shut. I thank the Lord for you taking the time out, listening to this message and this service. And if the Lord is speaking to you, it is important for us to obey God and believe God can do above and beyond what we can ask or think according to the powers that work is in us. And we thank the Lord for giving us joy. We thank the Lord for giving us his Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. Sometimes when we don't know what to say, the Holy Spirit may give us groans and utterances. And sometimes it's best for us not to say anything because James lets us know how destructive the tongue can be. There's a song something got in hold of me oh yes it did one day it was the holy ghost it was the holy spirit praise the lord i thank the lord for you taking the time out checking out this message and i pray that it was a blessing for you now let us go before the throne of god heavenly father in the name of jesus if there's someone out there who is loquacious uh, talking too much or may need your assistance on what to say. I'm reminded by the Apostle Paul what he said when you are brought before important people, the Holy Spirit will give you what to say. So that's we don't have to worry about anything. Just be in God's Spirit and allow God's Spirit to lead and guide us. But if there's someone out there that maybe has said something or has doubted God or is not on the straight and narrow and is on the bandwagon of following the world, here's your chance to ask for forgiveness. Lord, please forgive me for my sins. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Purge me with hyssop. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation and uphold me with thy free spirit. We thank you for repenting right now, for you believing in Jesus, and believing that he came, lived, and died, and that God raised him from the dead. Our brothers and sisters, you are saved. We thank you for your commitment or recommitting to Jesus Christ. We thank you for him. We thank you for you. We thank the Lord for our fellowship on today. There is a song, a charge to keep I have a God to glorify. We have a charge to keep and a God to glorify. So we must go out and spread to others the good news, like Gabriel spread to Zacharias. 
the good news of Jesus Christ. Um, Zacharias has a testimony now. And if we believe in the Lord, we will have one as well. Now to the benediction. May the Lord bless and protect you. May the Lord smile on you and be gracious. May the Lord show you his favor and give you his peace. And everyone said, Amen, Amen, and Amen.